I think it inspired me, seeing my son was on my head like, what in this boy go see in the next <laughs> 10 years? I don't want him to see, to be seeing my old videos. I want him to see like new Bella. When you turn on the TV, it's like, ah, that's my daddy. That's what I want to be to my child and it's an inspiration to me and more father to come. <laughs> <laughs>
Wagwa and I go by the name Taslim and I'm Bella Shmuda's PA. Hey, my name is Kingesa of KAC and I'm the CEO of KAC Entertainment. I support Bella in every way I can because I want to see him successful. I feel working with Bella is um, more of an ease to me and more of um, giving me more knowledge. Yeah, I work with him and I, I'm, get, I'm learning from it. I know he's going to kill it. You can see what he's doing there. He's an awesome performer, so there's no problem. If he's nervous, he has us to fall back on. If he's nervous, we're going to give him prep talks and all of those things. But after time, he's always on his A game. Mmm, <laughs> What about the guy with Bella is Dangbana? So cool. You know well. Because yeah, you would think Bella is laughing with you, but I don't know what's sticking on his head. But, but, but the thing is, as he gets Chris pass, he's so he amazing too. Yeah. Check, I want to put it in jail. <laughs> I want to check on my back up so. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, he's a fan. He's a fan. Hi, my name is Sizu. I'm Bella's guy. I'm there and uh, everything, everything. With the reggae, with the raga. All of us got to be treated as a guy. I produced this song. I did it. So you sang something on the song? Yes, the first part of the song. He has always been confident. That's one thing about him. He's always confident. There was there was one at Unilag. I think it was um, a brand show. Yeah. Then there was this part of uh, last last everybody to go die. Then he fell down and he backflipped over. I was like, bro, you did that. Some people talk gang banana. Some people talk incredible. Some people talk crazy. He's just, he's actually, he's actually a very cool, good person, dig it. He's just the wall around him, he's down by now, yes. That's it. <laughs> Sometimes when he goes on stage, before going on stage, I'll be scared. Like, is this guy ready? But once he steps on stage, it's another person. So I can't. He's just hundred percent. The Dangbana Republic and that particular song, that Dangbana Orisha, we always there's this vibe, this connection that I have with that song. So I was so happy. My partner, the second manager, Mabry, and I, we sat down with our lawyer. I'm like, let's put this idea together. Like, let's do Dangbana Orisha because the stage is having all this tradition. Like, we are, we are in the battle, you know this. So we're like, what if we use Dangbana Orisha as an entrance? This one is a bit more touchy. Um, mm -hmm. Just recently, mm -hmm. how was um, that father would have affected like your music, your career, your, your person in general? I think it inspired me seeing my son boys on my head, like watching this boy go see in the next ten years. I don't want him to see to be seeing my old videos. I want him to see like new Bella. I'm still doing stuff. So I'm not like is he in history that, that your daddy used to sing. No. I don't want to be that kind of father to my child. I want to be a father like when my when you turn on the TV, it's like ah, that's my daddy. That's who I want to be to my child, and it's an inspiration to me and more father to come. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
2023 was funny. It was a funny year. For me, it was a funny year. I think 2023, personally, I lost to myself. In 2024, Bella is coming back. More Bella Shimoda, expect best of Bella Shimoda, expect pure Bella Shimoda. Children have watched, uh, you know, we, we never get to see the future, so everybody's rushing. But I, I went into some things that I didn't appear of. I went to sign a deal with Rush, which later was funny. I did some things that I am not supposed to do. You don't see where person Tiff Keke. <laughs> Tiff Keke because of Bongo. Well, Ali Amdulillah, I'm here today. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could see. But you just won't wait for a thousand pounds. Uh, first of all, God is the greatest. Don't forget, and whatever you do in life, uh, don't lose your core values, don't lose yourself. Who you are is more important than what you want to become. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you, you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a, a close shave, wasn't it? Then you would get more and more adventurous. And you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are. My mom see used to call me that Ibolo wa ma o pe mo mo se mo pe mo ti blow ni Hello Ahmed what you pe wa wa ni am supply ah ma o pe mo 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 ti blow mo le ma lo ma supply sha o 